Hi folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the fishing reels that I use. Alright folks, if you watch any of my videos, you'll see cutaway shots of these reels or some variation thereof. Uh, I don't really talk about them too much. I usually give a quick mention that, you know, they're the type reel I use, but uh, what kind of line I got on them, but I really don't go into any detail on them. And that's kind of what I wanted to do in this video. I get some messages from people on occasion, uh, so uh, I'm sure other people have the same question. So kind of let's go over uh, what I like, dislike uh, about the reels that I use. Well, the two basic reels I use are the Abu Garcia 5000 and the 6500. Uh, they're basically the same reel as far as the size and uh, the amount of drag that you're able to put on them. Uh, the 6500 is a little bit bigger, has a little more line capacity. And uh, I use those on any of my drift rigs, dragging rigs, anything where I'm putting out a lot of line a good ways behind the boat. The way I do my trolling dragging and drifting I've got line out for a pretty good ways behind the boat so it's nice to have that extra line capacity uh, especially when you end up having to break something off or you get broke off midline and you lose a good bit of line uh, you don't have to worry about re-spooling that reel um, the 5000s typically I set those up for any of my rods that are set up just for anchor fishing or downlining straight underneath the boat they don't have as much line capacity um, so, you know, but if I'm, you know, anchored up, casting out, downlining, uh, even with breaking offline, I'm still okay on a trip. I don't have to worry about respooling until I get home. Uh, so those are basically the two differences and the two ways I use those reels. Now, one reel you'll occasionally see me use, especially in my shark fishing videos, are these Abu Garcia 7000s. Basically, they're a big version of a 6500. Uh, a lot more line capacity, about five more pounds of drag. They're rated for around 20 pounds of drag, whereas the 6500s are around 15. Uh, I think 20 pounds of drag is very generous with them. It's hard to get that much out of them. Uh, the biggest thing with them is uh, they've got a lot more line capacity. And uh, that comes in handy if you're, you know, chasing after fish that make a good run uh, like a shark does. And that's really why I use them for that. I used them for catfish for a long time. But honestly, these reels are just, I think, overkill for catfish. Uh, the size of them is a little bit ungangly. Uh, so I just, more comfortable using the 6500s and the 5000s. Uh, just feel like they're easier to cast, easier to handle, less weight on the rod, just less stuff you're dealing with. And they're more affordable. Uh, the 7000s are, you know, probably 25 to 50% more than a 6500. Uh, I try to get them used, uh, all the reels that I get, and uh, you know, usually you can find the 6500s a lot easier than you can these things. They're still good reels. If you got them and that's all you got to use, that's fine. Uh, nothing wrong with them. I just, uh, I think if I'm going to invest the money, I'd rather go with the 6500s. Uh, I think they give me more bang for my buck. One of the biggest reasons I started going with the Abu Garcia 6500s and 5000s 15 or 20 years ago was because they were readily available used. In the part of the country where I live, in the Carolinas, there are a lot of carp lakes around. And carp fishermen are very fond of these reels. Uh, so consequently, there's a lot of them floating around at pawn shops, uh, some of the uh, bait and tackle stores that sell stuff for some of the carp lakes. Uh, you can always find these reels floating around. Then they started showing up on eBay. And uh, it was, you know, if you were a, a diligent shopper, uh, right time of the year and the right person, you could find one of these reels uh, for, I found some of the 5,000s for anywhere from about 25 bucks up to about 50. And uh, some of the, you know, the uh, nicer 6,500s for anywhere from 45 to $65. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find them nowadays. There's a little more of a demand for them. They've become, become kind of popular. And uh, a lot more people are snatching them up and paying a higher price for them. Normally when you get them, they come like this. They've got the little, I call it the paddle reel. That's the normal uh, handle that comes on it. And uh, what I do is I upgrade mine a little bit to these uh, power handles. Um, I just feel like it gives you a little bit better leverage. Uh, you've got a you know bigger area to grab onto there. Uh, it cost about eh, anywhere from 12 to 16 bucks uh, to get those power handles, uh, depending on whether you get the uh, 
Abby Garcia name brand one, or there were some people making some knockoffs about five or 10 years ago that you get for 12 bucks. Uh, I think it's a very good add on for the reels. And uh, I think you'd be a lot happier with that than you will be with these. Now, one word of warning to you, not all Abu Garcia reels are created equal. Not all of them are as good as the 6500s and the uh, 5000s, the original ones. Uh, I came across these uh, about five or six years ago at Walmart. I think it's called a 5600 BCX. It's relatively affordable. Uh, bought a couple of them, tried them out, fished with them for a while. And at first they fished really well have about the same line capacity of a 5000. Uh, the problem was the gears just didn't hold up. It took about eight months of good heavy fishing uh, with a few good fish and a few good snags and uh, the next thing you know uh, some of the gears started breaking started shifting and it just wasn't working right. I sent it back, uh, checked out some of the warranty information, sent it back, they sent me a brand new reel, reused them again and consequently uh, uh, these are sitting up on the shelf because the ones that they sent back had the same problems with it. I just don't think some of the newer, more affordable ones are quite up to snuff. So my suggestion is if you can get them, if you can find them, if you can afford them new, you know, get a new 5,000 or 6,500. But uh, if you can get a used one, you're much better off going with the 5,000s or 6,500s than some of these other ones. Another big reason I went with these reels over some other ones on the market is that these reels are easy to work on. Uh, there's little things that you need to do to your reels as far as lubricating them, cleaning them. Uh, some of the uh, little uh, worm gears in them will need to be replaced. There's little things in there called a paw that goes back and forth on that worm gear that's on the level wind that goes back and forth. Uh, it's real easy to take them apart, open them up, and access the inside of them just to uh, clean stuff and, uh, you know, just do some routine maintenance on them to keep them casting and uh, uh, really good. If you watch enough of my videos, every now and then I'll go to cast one and it'll make a zinging sound. Usually that means there's some grease in there that has started to uh, solidify or dry up and starting to catch. So, uh, parts are readily available. Luckily where I'm at, there are several uh, places around uh, within driving distance you can take these things to and for about 15 bucks get a complete overhaul on them. Uh, they'll put new paws in. Uh, check out the worm gears, uh, clean everything, uh, put in the dry lubricants and everything else. So uh, parts that are available, that's a great thing about them. And uh, one of the biggest reasons I like using these reels. I'll mention one more thing. They have several of these models out that have different names to them. You'll see different stuff on the side of them. There's a catfish version, a striper version. Uh, and generally, they're about 30 or $40 more than the exact same reel that doesn't have any of that stuff on it. Honestly, I've seen no reason to buy the catfish version, the striper version, the carp version. Uh, they're just, I think it's just a marketing gimmick to get people who are catfish anglers, striper anglers, carp anglers to buy something that says catfish or carp on it. One interesting point is that the 6500s and the 7000s both have a built-in clicker. The 5000 does not have a built-in clicker, but there are a couple of places you can actually get clickers added on to the 5,000 reels. There's a shop near us here in the Carolinas where you can get one of those put on for about 20 bucks. So uh, just because it doesn't have a clicker on these 5,000s, you can always get one added on. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hopefully this gives you a little insight into these reels, why I use them, why I chose them, and why I've stuck with them this long. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, throw it down in the comment section below because I love to answer them and uh, try to get back to you as soon as I read them. Uh, if you like these videos, hit subscribe and be sure to hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified whenever new videos come out. We'll see you on the water.